Oh, chupacabras. They, they dig holes like that. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at Motivated Warehouse B. We're gonna be showing you a little bit of everything. Holy shit, my sticker's printing off. My Face of Nation sticker's printing off over here. Check this out, uh-oh. Yikes, what in the hell is happening? No. Ah, it'll be all right. It'll be all right, it'll be all right. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Somehow, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, where my Krabby Patty go? Right here. So. Today, uh, you're gonna be following me around. It's Friday, we're having a lot of stuff going on right now, good and bad, but first we gotta go put this new Face and Nation sticker on my truck and I'm gonna tell you what's going on with some of the merch. The new Face of Nation 2.0 mystery boxes are gonna be dropping sometime in September. It was supposed to be August 1st. A lot of our products are on uh, back order right now. Our, our suppliers are like, yo, CJ, uh, would love to get you these, but we just can't right now. And I'm like, okay, no problem, no problem. So, in a nutshell, we gotta wait about another month because the boxes that they're gonna come in are custom boxes. You know me, when I do something, I do it right or I don't do it at all. And to be honest with you, I want to be able to give you all a box and inside the box is more than what you paid for and the box is high quality. Everything, whole experience is gonna be high quality from start to finish, so hopefully you all like it. In a nutshell, I feel like I vlog a lot on Fridays. The auction was good last night, it was busy. There's some things that are kinda of happening internally that I'm not exactly happy about and let me explain a little a bit of that to you. And I'm just gonna show you the raw side of this. There is some serious stuff going on behind the scenes that I really wish I could just say on a video and explain everything. It's gonna be quite some time before I can explain it just due to legal reasons. Like there is some serious ass stuff happening and I'm not liking one bit of it. There's one thing that you can't have. You can't have people around you that you cannot trust. I've got a really good core group of people that I trust. But when someone from the outside comes in, pretends like they're on the inside and infiltrates from the inside out, that is a serious, serious problem. And I, gosh damn, I wish I could just stay on the video exactly what it is. And I'm going to at some point in time, regardless of whether I hurt this person's feelings or not, because this is just raw. This is, what you see is what you get with my life. There's no, rainbows and butterflies and, and just sunshine all the time. Like there's, tor there's tur turmoil, I can't, I can't even say the word, turmoil in everyone's life. There's, tur tur there's problems in my life, okay? I'm human, I'm, I make mistakes, can't even talk sometimes, but damn, sometimes I'm just thinking to myself, I'm like, you know, you gotta be able to trust the people around you. And if you can't trust the people who are working for you, it's time to get rid of them. So it's kind of what's coming down the pipe today. All right, some of my favorite times filming these vlogs are actually answering some of your all's comments. Not only like I comment back on the vlogs and stuff, um, I comment back on my main channel too. Uh, there's just a lot more comments on my main channel. Anyway, I like reading these because it, it's just, I don't know, it's just fun. It's, it's cool to see what you all do and, and you know, I get to shout you out and stuff like that. So Dorothy Southern says, you should show us each week how the new house is getting along. Uh, once it starts getting built, I'm sure other fans will agree with me. It looks like 33 people at the time of this video filming uh, like that. And I said agreed, that would be pretty cool. Um, and a lot of other people did too. All right, Rebecca Lockhart actually has a really good comment here. She said, I would love to see a motivated shirt with your quote, life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. I would buy six for my unequivocally accepting and encouraging group. I haven't... No idea what that word is. I've never <laughs> seen that word in my entire life. Unequivocally accepting and encouraging group. No idea what that means, but hey, shout out to Rebecca. Um, I saw this comment the other day and I was like, you know what, I'm doing that. So Rebecca, you are the inspiration behind that shirt and I cannot wait until I get to see you rocking that shirt too. All right, and Ross TA says WTF 
does life doesn't happen to you but for you makes no sense wtf does it mean you mean our lives are tailored wtf you on about laugh my ass off and can't you just do something without feeling that you have to brag about it who cares it's boring uh ross i have no idea maybe you were really angry when you typed this and missed out on punctuation day of of class i have no idea but um the comment i understand like you're, you're throwing shade and and dude i i ross i just want to say this man if you're leaving negative comments on a YouTube video, it says more about you than it does about me. If you think that I'm bragging about something or you're thinking about something along those lines, understand number one, I do not care at all if that's the way that you perceive the video. My videos are my life. If you literally don't like my life and, and the behind the scenes and stuff, I, I really, 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 I can't help you with that. It's my life, it's what it is, what it is. If I want to spend money on a certain thing or I want to go and do this certain thing, I have earned the right <clears throat> to do it. And if you have a problem with that, and you know, I'm not being disrespectful here, but just go to another channel and watch their content and go hate on them. But life happens. It doesn't happen to you. It happens for you. And if you go with that mindset that it happens for you, no matter what it is, good or bad, it happens for you. It's a mindset thing nothing else nothing more nothing less than that but if you have a shitty mindset and like oh everything just happens to me and I got help you know I got dealt a bad hand of cards you know my story might not be the most inspirational thing I didn't hit rock bottom or anything along those lines but that's a lot of times where people hit rock bottoms and they push back up and then some people sink and they stay there but at the end of the day Ross I hope that this message kind of conveys across to you man like Whatever you're going through in life, dude, I hope it gets better. I genuinely hope it gets better. And 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 quit hating on people on the internet, man. It's it's really not cool. It's if it's a hobby of yours, that's cool, but hey, teaches our own, man. All right, Kathy Ann says, CJ, prices of lumber are starting to come down. Maybe hang in there a little bit longer. So excited for your new adventure. Shout out to you, Kathy. I'm excited about them lumber prices coming down, girlfriend. I'm mm, I'm pumped. Patricia Grayton said, just noticed the goatee. It looks good on you. Makes your eyes pop. <laughs> Never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> and we have another comment here. This is gonna be the last one. I really want to elaborate on this one just like a short bit. But um, Ikea says, I've always worked overtime my job, giving 200% of my time. I was never recognized, last job over 10 years. The day of leaving, no goodbyes or thank yous from my bosses. They didn't even say bye. So it was really, so it was really dependent on the company. The companies I, I've worked for before, this one, most of them actually paid attention to the extra time I put in to help their customers feel noticed. I made them feel important with, with my know-how by paying attention and going that extra mile so they stayed. Some of the bosses did say something positive back to me. Many companies don't. I've heard the same from friends from their experience. I gotta say this to everyone who is like going to get a job or is going and applying for a job or maybe you get sit down with an interview and you're wondering, all right, you know, I want a job at such and such, but is it the right place for me? You gotta think about this. It's just as much of an interview with them as it is the other way around interview with you, you gotta make sure that this company is something that you believe in. Like if you don't believe in the product or the service or whatever the company is doing, don't be involved with that company. It's hard for you to be passionate about something that you don't fully believe in. I believe in YouTube. I believe in motivating people. I, that's why I put 120% of everything I have into it. And you have to do the same thing. So like if you're sitting down with a company and you're going through and maybe it's an HR director and say, hey, listen, um, you know, uh, if, if you do select me to get this job, um, is there any, any way that I could sit down uh, and, and meet the boss for just two minutes before I take the job? How are they gonna say no to that? You're a new hire that just wants to meet the boss and put a face with a name. But be confident in your assertion that why of you want to do that and just say, hey, listen, I wanna start off with talking to the boss and, and at least that person knows who I am and I get a little bit of a feeling of what I'm going to be working or dealing with. Because the last thing you want to do is take a job, realize a month in, oh, this isn't right for me. So you stay another six months so it looks good on the job application for the next job or even a year and you're, you're absolutely
miserable, you've wasted six years or a month or a whole year of your life, whatever the case might be, I, I, I think it's important. I only had one person out of probably the hundreds that I've hired that have actually wanted to meet me before you know, they were hired. So uh, Jamie will come to me and say, yeah, this person's starting here, such and such for their position. And typically I'm in, I'm in the interview because I like to be involved. Yeah, I've only had one person that, uh, you know, wasn't uh, in the interview with me that wanted to meet me. So that, that made a, a pretty big visual impression to me of, hey, this person, like, they get it. They, they want to know what they're dealing with. Or maybe they just wanted to meet me in general or whatever. But um, it was cool, and, and that's what you should do. I, th I, I personally think that. So that's just a little word of advice. All right, so we're on the way right now to look at this 78 acres of property one more time before I like say, yep, I want to do this. Jeez, life is crazy right now, man. Crazy busy, I should say. It's good It's good to be busy, but in, in the same sense, like I'm always running behind. I'll be late to my own funeral. Now, I understand I'm not going to even live till like I'm 50. I just have this weird intuition that I'm, I'm, I'm somehow dead before 50. I, I don't, I know it's very weird to say. I don't know. I have, I've had weird intuitions my entire life. Like I knew for a weird, weird, weird thing is like, I was like, I'm going to lose my dad before like I'm older. I'm going to lose him early in life. And I did. And I always knew that from a very young age. It was weird. My intuition is very, very, very weird. I can literally think of something happening and then it happens. It's like manifesting it in like the strongest way ever. And Dylan, this right here is probably why I'm not gonna live till I'm 50. Oh, mother Yeah, put my side towards it. Hey, you die first, I die second, okay? I love myself too much for that. Hey, I love myself too. There's no way I'd ever kill myself. No way. I'm in love with me too much. <laughs> I say that a lot, but I'm serious. Like I. I have a lot of love for myself. I just, I like me. I think, I, I don't know. I pulled in this one. Oh my gosh, what am I doing, dude? So Look, we're gonna die by a log there. truck right here. That's why I won't live till 50. We almost pulled out in front of a logging truck. Yeah, see, you tried to get me killed the other way. You go down the wrong road, I'm gonna pull out in front of a log truck. Golly day. Jeez. Then my realtor, he just texted me. He's like, hey, you on your way? Yeah, sure I am. I left 20 minutes ago. <laughs> sure I did. All right, I'm on my way. I thought it was at 10 30 i swear to you but he's not going to be there this is like one of them deals where he's just like let me go and just hey do we do your thing he trusts me enough so that's cool i should have brought my bathing suit <laughs> my truck has ac seats so i could dry off kind of oh, fast I wouldn't put any fish in this one because we're gonna have four wheelers and dirt bikes and vehicles probably jumped off into this thing. <laughs> Human remains found. I don't know, but this weird watch this mom put it up here when you do this tell me that doesn't look like the bone that would be in someone's arm God. you see what i mean it matches like perfect it does like your little hinge the, right there the joint. mom you're like holding some indian's bone right now or something <laughs> that's what this piece would be what do you think that would be i'm not sure you have hand sanitizer right Okay. <laughs> Jeez, we're picking up some dead guy's bones right now. I would leave it. It's evidence at this point. That's weird. <laughs> Bro, I'm just saying. Like. I was going to say maybe that goes together, but it doesn't. Looks like it would. Kind of like there's cartilage or something that was supposed to be like in it. Or... I, you know, Mom, I need to take you on a random auto good adventure because you're just picking up shit without gloves. My, my, they're going to... They're just gonna go absolutely crazy in the comment section right now. Why? It's like big. You got a shovel. I'm not digging. Look at her. <laughs> she likes to she likes to look for stuff. I love this. I love adventures. Well, I'm gonna strap a GoPro on you. I'm gonna let you just go out here for days and just look around. You know if this is here, there has to be more right here. Yeah. Definitely somewhere there's there's more. Mm. 
Mom's gonna come out here and start looking for fossils next. Yo, you are like the luckiest person in the world. Holy shit. What? This pine cone just fell right behind you. Jeez. Did it really? Yeah, it was like two seconds of hitting you in the head. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> he was trying to get me. I it at first. I woke up like, no, it came right from that tree right there. <laughs> <clears throat> you literally walked. It was like this. It was right here, and then as soon as you stepped right here, boom. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Folks, I'd rather be lucky than good every day of the week. Good grief. I should have brought my dive stuff. I could have gone in the pond to see how deep this is. Saw the sequoia trees, like in the hangover. <laughs> oh, chupacabras. They they dig holes like that. A chupacabra? <laughs> a chupacabra will dig a hole like that. It probably got paw prints like that too. Okay. You've never seen a chupacabra in Delaware. Do you know what that is? Yeah. A chipacabra. A chipacabra. A chipacabra. They're like a four-legged animal. Is that like an Indian animal? No, no. It's like it's like a looks like a enlarged sloth. Like its neck kind of burrows down. Oh, that would be cool. A chipacabra. Like no, they're sloths. mean. They're half, very mean. Like half sloth, half monkey, or something. Like it's gonna come out of there like a raging gorilla if it's a chipacabra. <laughs> One monkey. Be a damn. <laughs> Egg. Oh, I could get a pet gorilla. <laughs> we could have giraffes. Oh my gosh, it'd be the face and funny farm. Oh my gosh, we could have all kinds of animals. Goats. Ostrich. Goats clear out all this brush and stuff. Really? They eat Don't it eat all. It. Yeah. All right, we're getting nine goats. <laughs> Listen, I went to an ostrich farm one time. I hate ostriches. They scare the shit out of me. I don't like them things at all. All right, let's get the hell away from this guy and his house. So I wanted to make sure uh, my mom's truck started there before we just up and leave her uh, with no cell phone service out here in the boondocks. This is a dangerous piece of property to be like screwing around on and like, oh, we got lost. Like you literally get lost. So we gotta get one of those radios that goes like a 50 mile distance just so we can get a hold of each other. Dude, there's a piece of garden hose right here and scared the shit out of me. <laughs> he thought it was a little slow, man. Jeez, not even a cell phone service to get like a GPS signal going. That's insane. Jeez, this intersection is terrible. Oh gosh, damn. Yo, I took a wrong turn. Oh, no. Yo, f this. We're gonna turn around somebody's driveway. Oh, bro, we're gonna get smacked going out of this person's driveway. Oh, dude. Or shot. We're in Delaware. If they're like me, they already got a gun drawn on somebody. All right, so I wanted to get my mom's opinion about the property. Nobody controls my finances except for me. I'm buying the property outright, no financing or anything like that. It's a big piece of real estate and it's a it's a huge, huge, huge investment, not only in content, but just in personal life too, so. But content wise, there's, there's a lot to film there. I mean, there's tons and tons of stuff that you can do. And truly, I, I think that it's probably one of the very last pieces of property within the peninsula like that. So that's kind of why I want to jump on it, but I don't know. I could be filming this vlog and, you know, we find out there's no internet connection that can be found out there. And that's going to, I know it's very stupid, but if there's no internet connection or cell phone service is extremely important to what I do with YouTube and all of this, it'd be a little dumb to have to go somewhere to upload a video. You know what I mean? There's no service. So like it's, it's different things like that you've got to think about. So yeah, we got to figure out whether we can get internet service. Dylan's looking that up right now. Big shout out to him. His office is going to be there. My main office would be there. There's a lot of different things, but I want to get my mom's opinion. I do care about her opinion, but it's, you know, it's not that she has control or say over what I do or anything, but just I respect her opinion. I just want to see what she thinks. You know, she's been on earth a little longer than I have. So that's why. Awesome. Well, 
I'll tell you what, go ahead, uh, let's, let's get that email drafted up, if you don't mind, and yeah, dude, we'll, we'll, you, you can at least kind of initiate contact there, and then I can, you know, explain kind of what's going on. And... Yep. Cool. Awesome, man. I'll go ahead and send it to you. See you, man. Bye. All right, that right there was uh, a good connect. Perfect. So that was um, one of my tech guys here for the auction and motivated and all that. And uh, he's got to connect with Xfinity. We just got a quote over the phone, Dylan did. They're like, it's going to be a minimum of 12 grand, probably going to be a lot more. That's just for us to start construction. And I'm like, I'm stupid to pay 12 grand for internet, but if I really want that property and I want to upload videos and continue YouTube, I kind of don't have a choice if I'm going to do that property. So anyway, I'll see y'all in a little bit.